Hey guys, it's Kayla. I look like a hot, hot mess. I just woke up and I knew that if I didn't do this video now, it would not get done. <laughs> I'm really tired right now. So I'm doing my first bump date. I am five weeks and two days, according to my calculations. I'm getting a, I'm gonna have a seven week ultrasound. So here in about a little less than two weeks, I'll have a um, ultrasound, which I'm really excited about that. I am so excited to like actually see the baby and hear the heartbeat and just kind of have that confirmation that yes, I'm pregnant, this is real, I'm seeing it with my own eyes. Like Noah and I are very, very excited about that. We also, we have decided to go with a midwife and um, I have my first midwife, I have like a midwife consultation on August 19th. So we're excited about that also. I have notes down here, so I'm like looking down. The baby this week is about the size of a sesame seed. The brain and spinal cord are developing right now. And then the heartbeat is um, finishing up its development and it'll actually start pumping this week and pumping blood throughout the baby's body and stuff like that. So that's exciting, knowing that it's developing and it's like, it's actually a life inside of me. Like, even though it doesn't look like a baby, like, it's a human life that's living inside me. It's not an alien, so. Symptoms that I've had this week, obviously I've missed my period. My period was supposed to come on Tuesday and now it's Friday and um, I feel like I'm going to start my period, like that's how I'm feeling, but obviously it hasn't came or anything. I haven't had like any spotting or bleeding at all yet, so um, my boobs are starting to get a little bit sore. I actually went on Wednesday <clears throat> and I got a maternity bra and a nursing bra. Um, so I can get away from my bra with wires. I kind of only had like one bra that I wore like all the time and it was starting to get kind of gross and kind of wore out because I was like the only bra I would wear unless I was wearing my sports bra. So I went out and got two maternity bras. Um, so those ones are really comfortable. I don't know why women don't wear maternity bras like even when they're not pregnant because they're just so comfortable. When I just went to Walmart, I got two $10 ones at Walmart, so, and I love them. Um, I don't think that they're gonna last very long because they're comfortable for me right now, but I know that as my boobs grow, like they're probably not gonna last that long, but they're only $10. I have been having like this weird pain, not like excruciating pain, but I have this pain on the left side of my uterus. And I've seen lots of videos of women who have this same symptom with pain on the left side. I have a little bit of pain on the right side, but it's mostly the left side. I feel like I can feel that the baby is implanted there. It's weird. Or I also thought maybe I could have like a cyst or something on my ovary, like from where the egg came on my ovary, like popped on my ovary. Maybe there's a cyst that's left there. I don't know. I'm really hoping that everything's okay. Like I know we'll have an ultrasound in two weeks and I'm hoping that, um, that everything will be normal, that the baby is implanted in the right spot, that I don't have a cyst or anything. That, you know, this is just what pregnancy feels like. So this is my first pregnancy, first time for everything. So I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's supposed to, what I'm supposed to be feeling, what I'm not supposed to be feeling. So I'm kind of ex looking forward to my ultrasound. Just kind of take a breather, like <sighs> everything's fine. You're fine. So I'm really looking forward to that. Cause until then I feel like I'm going to be a nervous wreck. <laughs> also, I haven't had that many cravings. I. I guess the only thing that I would say I've been craving lately is cheeseburgers. Like, I've really wanted cheeseburgers. I've been going through the drive-thru a lot just because, like, I feel like that's the only thing that, like, honestly kind of, like, sounds good. I haven't had, like, any food, um, what is it called? Food and food inversions or food food inversions or something. I haven't had anything, like, turn me off yet. I haven't had any puking, any vomiting. I've had very, very mild nauseousness but not at all to the point where I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. So I'm thankful for that. I know it's just around the corner though, but it hasn't come yet. Um, honestly, I'm just kind of like, nothing really sounds good, but I kind of just force myself to eat and everything that I've ate so far has been fine. Um, I honestly haven't really wanted to eat much, but then like when I do really, really feel like eating, I, I actually had my first meltdown last night because like I wanted to eat I wasn't that hungry but I really just felt like eating like I just 
felt the urge to eat something, but I couldn't figure out like what I wanted to eat, so I started crying. So I went to McDonald's and got a McDouble and some fries, came home, and I was like holding the burger like up to my mouth, and I just started crying. Like <laughs> it was just my emotions were getting the better of me for whatever reason. I was, it wasn't even, I don't know, it was pathetic. Um, but I had my first like pregnancy emotional meltdown. Like I said, so I haven't had any cravings besides maybe cheeseburgers, <clears throat> and I haven't had any puking or anything. So, fingers crossed that when it does come, my mother-in-law feels like I will be super sick around eight weeks. So, I'm hoping that I never get super sick, um, or if I do get really sick, I hope it doesn't last very long. Like, I hope it's done, like, by the end of the first trimester. So... But I have made a lot of bathroom trips, number one and number two. Like, it's been bad. It's been really bad. I had a funny experience in Walmart yesterday. I had to go to the bathroom so bad, number two, and it just came out of nowhere. So I'm, like, waddling to the bathroom, like, trying to get there. And I'm, like, so glad I was the only one in there because it was bad, if you know what I mean. Like, based on my own calculations, I think... From the last, from the first day of my last period, 40 weeks from that day, I think my due date would be around April 12th of 2017. That could change when we actually go to the ultrasound and figure out how long I am, or how far along I am, but it's been five weeks since my last period, um, and two days, because today's Friday, so it's my week start on Wednesdays, um, because that's what my last period was, so... As of right now, based on those calculations, my due date is April 12th, but like I said, that could change in the future. I've also been taking prenatal vitamins. I've actually been on prenatals since February, because I knew that we were going to start trying to have a baby, and I just, this is a brand new bottle, because I've been, I finished my other bottle. This is the Vitafusion Prenatals, and it has the um, DHA, folic acid, vitamin B6. Uh, omega 3s, but uh, like everything that you need in this, so yeah. So I don't know if these are gonna like make me feel sick later on. I feel like maybe they will. I took one today and I was like, these smell different. Like, they've never like tasted amazing, but like when I took one this morning, I was like, I feel like these are gonna make me sick eventually. Um, but they're just gummy lemon and raspberry flavors so as of right now those have worked for me so far um I'm hoping that I don't have to go out and get new ones because I hope those ones don't make me too sick to the point where I just can't take them anymore but anyways so that's basically it you guys that's my five week bump date um not much has gone on I'm I'm trying to decide if I want to do bump dates weekly or if I want to do bump dates like every other week depending on like what's going on in my pregnancy so we'll see or maybe I'll combine weeks maybe I'll do like a, a video for six and seven weeks and do a video for like eight and nine I guess we'll see I'm not sure how I want to do that do that just yet but yeah so that's it I will see you guys in the next video subscribe my channel if you want to see all of my bump dates I'll also have our pregnancy announcement video up here and Follow along on our journey, you guys. This is our first pregnancy. Like, I'm pregnant. I'm finally pregnant. Noah and I are so excited. So, all right. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.